more surprising that I'm going to try to completely wing this um, on the video or that it's a product I've never used before, never thought to use before, would not have used if one of my awesome nieces hadn't asked me about it. So it's just really funny because she's the last person in the world I would have thought would say, hey, Aunt Dee Dee, what about kelp noodles? So, hmm, what about them? Isn't that seaweed? <laughs> but she was taking, she was thinking this year at Aki, which she tried those and liked them. And the volumetrics and something that's very low calorie that you can spruce up with something that does have some good healthy nutrients. So, that brings us to the kelp noodle. First time I ever bought them, um, yes, no, today, I bought it today, um, at the health food store. They are ridiculously low in calories um, and nutrients. It says it has some trace minerals and a little bit of iron and calcium. Um, but really, this is what you're going to want to use for a base, and then you want to fill it with things like a protein and um, nutrients and vegetables and such. So, it is different than shirataki in that you don't have to parboil or dry them. Awesome. You do have to rinse them in water and then store them in water, and you cut them before you cook them, which is something we learned about the shirataki noodle. Um, you cut them to the size you want them before you do your preparation. They're actually, they just needed to be added to any dish. Um, you don't really have to cook them, just warm them up. And um, it says on here not to freeze them, which makes me think they're gonna, it's going to be the same way as the shirataki noodle was. If I made an entree and then froze it, when I heated it up later, it shriveled them all up and made them a little tough. So you probably want to eat these the same day or in the next couple days that you make them has no preservatives, um, supposed to be very healthy, and it's supposed to have a neutral taste. We will see. I have three plans for this bag of kelp. One I don't think I need to show you at all. I don't know that I need to show you any of them really, but um, I'm going to make a stir fry dish. Okay, so hold that thought. Rinse in water before preparing, cut the noodles. Okay. Yes, look at that. This is crazy. I don't know. I don't know if I can do this or not. You can use these in cold salads as well. Um, anyway, in a moment, I'm going to rinse them out and separate them into three separate things. And one of them will become a stir fry. And since they have no calories, I decided I would splurge on a prepared sauce that has a little more calories than I would normally get. But Oh, it only has four grams of sugar, so it's really not bad at all. I did read the label before I bought it. Um, so I'm going to use this Kiko Min Stir Fry Sauce. It's also preservative free. Um, I'm going to use a couple tablespoons of that. I'm using um, a couple cups of, almost two cups, of a deluxe stir fry, just whatever just whatever store brand you want to get. I looked at all the different brands and how much more expensive some of them were for ridiculous reasons. Um, this one has broccoli, green beans, carrots, baby corn, water chestnuts, red pepper. Sounds kind of Asian, right? And I'm using the Morning Star crumblers for my protein. I've got a half a cup. So, I'll turn the camera on in a moment, but I'm going to clear out, rinse, prepare, whatever you do those noodles and I'm going to make that stir fry. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm thinking of it like a pasta and I'm going to make like the baked spaghetti like I did with the shirataki so you don't need to see that. It's just the noodles and some sauce and some mozzarella cheese bacon. Then I'm going to try the noodles and I am going to heat them up. Maybe I'll stir fry them a minute and I'm going to try to season them with garlic and basil. And after I turn the pan off, I'm going to add maybe a little bit of Parmesan cheese and olive oil. And that could be like a side dish. So, first thing is to rinse them, separate them, and clip them, if you will. Okay, well, here we go. And i got to tell you, I'm just feeling very weird about this. Um, it looks like they're going to be like this crunchy little thing that hopefully will taste like whatever you cooked it in because, yeah, okay, they're weird. Um, so easily for the one that I'm making like the shirataki, 
spaghetti I made, I'm just putting them in a little pan, putting some pasta sauce on them, and um, mozzarella cheese, and baking them in my toaster oven. Otherwise, I separated my bag into three, seriously 10 calories for that container of them. I cut them in two or three sections. And uh, in the big frying pan, I'm going to stir fry the vegetables and the bokeh first. Uh, I might simmer fry that for a bit and get the uh, veggies cooked. And then I will add, I will stir in the noodles and the stir fry sauce and just warm everything and that'll be that. In the smaller frying pan, I'm going to warm up the pan and then I'm going to warm the noodles and add my, and then maybe as the pan and noodles get warm, then I'll turn the burner off and add olive oil, parmesan, and some spices. So. Stir-fry kelp, <laughs> vegetarian stir-fry with kelp noodles. Mm -hmm. Like I said, ridiculously low. I don't know. It might have 100 calories in it. Sorry. And then the kelp noodles a la basil. I think they're sticking together. Oh, I forgot. I just I put that oil on them. I didn't stir them up. Anyway. Give it a go, why don't you? It looks like spaghetti from there. <laughs> I don't think it's going to taste like spaghetti. We'll see.